Hi guys, it's me King Sunny here back with another video today. I will show you my controller settings which will help you get more wins. So let's get started boys. Uh, FIFA trainer is of course high. Time finishing is off just because the risk to reward ratio is very low because the risk is high, the reward is low. If you are absolutely perfect at it, then use it of course. Next player's switch indicator is on. It basically tells you that if you press L1, which player will you switch to? If you press R1 for secondary man press, which will be the player that will go do secondary man press? I see many people using it is off, but especially new players should use it as on. Or pass block assistant assistance is on, of course. Auto switching is air balls and loose balls. Never use auto or manual, okay? Uh, auto switching move assistance, none or low, not high. Never ever use high, okay? I use low just because I'm used to it. I'm using it since six years now. Uh, most players like to use none as it gives you more control, but I feel like low is the best of both worlds. So try both for yourself and see what suits you better. Jockey assisted. Last year I used manual, but this year assisted controls are very overpowered. So assisted of course. Auto flare pass is off, not on. And yeah, we don't want them making fancy passes uh, by themselves. Auto clearances are on, auto shots are on. These are little things that help you if EA wants us. EA, if he wants to assist us, we will get the assistance, of course. Player lock is on. It is very important feature this year. So make sure you learn it. I'll also make a video on it. Uh, contextual agile rippling is off. It was on just because I was making a video previously. So I put it, uh, put it as on, forgot to turn it off. I use it as off, boys, uh, because I like more manual control over my left stick dribbling. I, the contextual agile dribbling, when it's on, it just does not feel natural. I cannot turn 360 with contextual agile dribbling on. It always engages the agile dribbling motion and I just, I am not just comfortable with it. I am old school. I prefer off and the way I left stick dribble, like I showed you boys, the link is in the, is in the description. Uh, agile dribbling on does, does not suit me. So I will insist you to try out both, but I prefer off. And if you ask me, I will say use it as off. Assisted headers are on, but in uh, but online they are off. So yeah, it doesn't really matter. Players right stick switching never ever use ball relative. You know if you know me, you know I hate ball relative. Use player relative if you want to be the best of the best. Ground pass assistant assisted everything assisted assisted assist cross assistant is assistance is also assisted. Previously semi, but this year assisted. Lob pass. Assistance previously manual this year assisted save this really doesn't matter analog sprint. I use as off a Debatable since the sprint boosts are so overpowered Analog sprint gives you more control over your sprint So if you're someone who likes loves those sprint boosts and likes to have more control over the sprint Definitely use it as on but I play better with off. So yeah, I use off and defending technique technical defending of course reg legacy defending is relevant and yeah Pass receiver log is late and that is it boys. These are my controller settings. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you very soon with another educational video. Until next time, it's me King Sunny out. Take care. See you.